The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. Here's yo daddy. Try the castle with the taco meat, man. It's delicious. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, that's a book on how to make Mexican martinis. <laughs> I've got the recipe right here. <laughs> Y'all try that. Share it. Daddy's home. Here's yo daddy. Hey kids, welcome to the Big Daddy G Show. Let me find a spot for this here. Wow, what applause. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not sure how much time I have, but uh, I think it's like six minutes to... Um, I have 40 seconds. Okay, no, <laughs> six minutes and 40 seconds. Okay, so a few things I want to talk to you guys about. First of all, we're going to have the, uh, the, I believe, three of the four winners of the 48-hour film project. So uh, Austin 48-hour film project, and you're going to get to see the winning films. There's short clips, uh, average about eight minutes, something like that. Uh, 
So uh, stay tuned. You're really going to dig these uh, films. Um, and Eileen's going to come on here, I think, eventually and tell you guys what the 48-hour film project is all about. So a couple of things I want to talk to you about. Um, it is 92 degrees. It's 10 p.m. in Austin, Texas, um, and it's 92 degrees uh, right now. So um, drink a lot of water and make sure your pets have a lot of water uh, to drink. Tonight is a full moon, so to all the people at the ER uh, and all my bartender friends, I'm so sorry for tonight. <clears throat> but, um, okay, a um, couple other things I wanted to tell you guys is we do not rehearse on this show. So if you see a mess up, it's, that's because it's live TV, okay? We do not rehearse. Uh, so just keep that in mind. A quick um, little message to my friend Rochelle who hasn't baked me anything in a long time. Um, eat oatmeal, if she has migraines, and that's the excuse she uses for not being able to bake. Uh, but if you eat oatmeal on a regular basis, that'll keep you from getting migraines. So you can Google it, look it up. Um, if you enjoy migraines, then go right to it. So um, knock yourself out. Um, one thing uh, I wanted to tell you guys is that um, we went to a fundraiser Sunday, and we're going to show you a little clip about that. So, Tyrone, can we go ahead and roll that clip um, of the fundraiser? Finally, a no, finding my PayPal uh, account, uh, things like that. Everyone has showed up and, and been on that stuff. I am so tired of being at home. I'm not going to lie. I'm looking forward to getting back to being 100% healthy and getting back. So I'm very grateful for everybody for participating. And those angels walking amongst us everywhere, right? And there's a bunch of them right here in this room, right here today. Everybody. You got these angels on there and happy, everybody. And I'm so grateful that music put everybody in this room in my path a long time ago. And when I was first going to church five years ago, I remember the last thing I thanked God for on that day was the gift of musicianship in my life. So grateful, I had never stopped to thank God for making me a musician. Because when it was all said and done, being a musician got me an extended family that goes from town to town to town. And I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you so much. <laughs>
the Big Daddy G Show. Big Daddy G Show. It's the Big Daddy G Show. Now type it in, take it in. Where do I begin? He's really funny, and he's not really thin. It's the Big Daddy G Show. Big Daddy, Big Daddy. It's the Big Daddy G Show. Lucas out of jail. Oh, we back? Hey, kids, we're back. Um, just a couple of things I want to mention real quick. That was Kevin and Becca um, and the backup uh, players at um, a bar in Pflugerville called um, Oak, Oak Hill Bar and Grill in Round Rock. And a great little place, man. You, you'll love it. Quick, Quick Hill Bar and Grill is what it's called. And um, by the way, Michelle, thank you for the Mexican martinis. Um, I accidentally left one of my glasses there, so please hold on to it. I'll be back, I guarantee you, because you make great Mexican martinis. Um, just a quick shout-out to Jordan in Vancouver, Washington, who's watching tonight for the first time. Way to go, Jordan. Thank you for tuning in. Um, the one last thing I wanted to say um, was that, uh, Kevin, if there was ever any doubt in your mind that somebody loves you, um, that was proven to you um, so far. And uh, folks, you guys donated so much money. Um, thank you so Whoa. much for helping Kevin. Um, he's going to be able to get the treatments that he can get now because now he can afford it so that he can live and he can walk. So thank you so much. Um, one last thing, Kevin, your wife, Rochelle, or Rachel, is way out of your league, brother, way out of your league. You're very lucky. Okay, so um, back to business. We are going to bring in Eileen, who is the head of the Austin 48 Hour Film Project. So Eileen Harding. <laughs> um, so Eileen, tell me a little bit about why you're here. Uh, you asked me? Oh, yeah. there you go. No. <laughs> no. Um, okay, so I, uh, I'm the executive producer of uh -huh. the Austin 48 Hour Film Project, okay. along with my co-producer, Kara Marty, who unfortunately could not be with us tonight. Um, and, uh, yeah. She's, she's under house arrest. <laughs> so, uh, you know, she's got one of those ankle bracelets. No, I'm just right, kidding. I'm just kidding. Right, right. Um, no, uh, we, uh, we produce the 48 Hour Film Project twice uh -huh. a year. And what is 48 Hour Film Project? Glad you asked. It is a timed filmmaking competition. Uh -huh. So you get a team together and then on Friday night, you, uh, your team representative gets three elements. Okay. A line of dialogue, which must be verbatim. Uh -huh. A character, you get a male and female name and a brief description. Okay. And you get a prop. Nice. And then uh, it, and all the teams get the same elements. Okay. And then each team pulls a random pair of genres out of a hat. Okay. They can choose to make a film that fits one genre or the other, or they can combine them. Okay. And then they have 48 hours to write, film, edit, and score a four to seven minute short film with one minute of credits. They have to turn it in by Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, we screen all of the submitted films for the public. Okay. Uh, even if you didn't follow the <laughs> assignment, right, we've, right. we've screened a film that was basically uh, eight, uh, seven or eight minutes of somebody's grandfather's birthday party at a party at a bowling alley. Uh, we screened it, you know, because nice. <laughs> nice. they submitted it. We screened nice. it, um, and then the films are judged. Mm -hmm. The ones that that actually met the criteria, yeah. got in on time, et cetera, and so forth. They uh, they are judged by a panel of local experts, mm -hmm. and then um, we award uh, various prizes to the best film and other 
areas, you know, best actor, best actress, best cinematography, best mm -hmm. editing, best writing, best directing, etc. Um, and we just had our awards on Sunday night at AFS Cinema. Right, right. AFS yes. Cinema. Okay. So. Um, well, that's awesome. And so these groups, how many people can be in the group? Does uh, it matter? Any, any number. Any, any number? We don't okay. recommend doing it on your own, uh -huh. but it has been done. Okay. Um, those people are, are either crazy or very, very uh, talented. And yeah. um, kudos to those who try. Nice. Uh, but, yeah, we don't recommend it. But, yeah, it can be any, any size team, mm -hmm. any age, any uh, type of experience or training. You can have no experience, no training. You can bring your iPhone. Um, what does it cost uh, to be to join or to participate? The registration per team uh -huh. is between about 125 to, I think, 190, depending on how early okay. you, uh, you register. Every year we have a, uh, a New Year's special mm -hmm. from January 1st to January 15th, okay. and that's when you can get the really, really good deals. We don't have our okay. date set at that point, so you kind of have an out of, if we set our dates and you go, oh, hey, I can't do it, then you get a full refund. Okay. But uh, that's that's the best way to, to get in there and get committed uh, nice. for the the lowest amount of pri uh, amount of money, and it's it's per team. So you right. can have you know three hundred people on your team, and everybody yeah. throws in a, you know fifty cents, and you got to right. cover. Nice, <laughs> so. nice. Well, I've actually done a few of the forty eight hour uh, film projects um, as an actor, and dude, they're a lot of fun. They're a lot of work, but they're a lot of fun, and you find out uh, what you can and can't do a lot of times. You find so, out who you can trust too, who you can depend on to show up in a pinch. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, so um, if you, basically if you register early, you get a break on the price. Mm -hmm. And if you win like best film, uh, what do you get? You what, go what is the on, prize? Well, uh, this year we had a $250 gift certificate from Austin Movie Gear. Nice. We had three free days of filming at New Republic Studios. That was that was really <sighs> incredible. Um, Sony Vegas Pro mm -hmm. and um, Movie Magic Screenwriter were our national uh, sponsors, so they gave prizes. Uh, Sony Vegas Pro gave prizes to Best Editing as well. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see, I, I make a, a poster. Um, I, I design it personally and make a poster and get it framed and everything for the for the best film. Uh, I really enjoy doing that. And my mother <laughs> um, crochets a an afghan in uh -huh. the forty eight colors. Oh, nice! Uh, so purple, orange, and white. Nice. And uh, yeah, she she takes she takes a lot of pleasure out of doing that. Nice. So. And her mom can party. I'm telling you, I've partied <laughs> with her before. She can party. Okay, so we're gonna go uh, to a little clip. I think. Uh, a more to come promo, and we'll be right back. So hang tight. Mm. Dude, you can't be doing that while I'm drinking. Okay, sorry. Oh, hey kids, welcome to the Big Daddy G Show. We're on on Tuesdays at 10 p.m. on Channel 16, or you can stream it on thebigdaddyg.com. Adios. 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 <laughs> it's what we do. Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> Ninety percent still in A. I hope. What do you know? The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. Hi kids, we're back. Um, I only want to say one quick thing. Yes, so the best film also goes on to Filmapalooza to represent Austin. This next year it will be in Rotterdam in Holland. And oh, wow. uh, so we're really excited about that. Wow, and, nice. Um, yeah, the, the, the talent this year just really up their game. Um, I, I was very impressed with all of the films. Every one of them that came in, awesome. uh, was they were really incredible this year. Awesome. So good well, get we've, going, guys. We've got to bring in Jeremiah Bright. Thank you talking? so much. Thank you so much for for sharing with us. <laughs> but hold on a second, uh, kids. Help me welcome Jeremiah Bright. <laughs> hey, bud. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? The music sound familiar? Oh yeah, it's, it's not silent. <laughs> I can tell you that. There you go. Okay, so you guys, um, you did a, a movie called Silent Train, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, and our help, our what, Taron? 
Marla helped produce uh, your film. Yes, she did. Yeah, dude, I I saw that film um, when you screened it, mm -hmm. and um, I was like, at first I was like, what's going on? I thought everybody was deaf, you know, oh, okay. and so I thought it was like a deaf film, and I was like, well, I know some sign language, I don't know a lot, but I hope I can keep up. But by the end of the film, I was like, dude, this is a really neat idea. And I know that you guys didn't do it on, well, you did it on purpose, but because you didn't have a microphone or something, oh, or you no. didn't have good uh, audio or something like that. What, what happened with that? What happened was uh, I ordered a mic. Uh -huh. So on the way to Austin to draw the, um, the uh, genres, uh -huh. I was like, Erwin. It's like, man, we're gonna have crappy audio. <laughs> like, I don't know what we're gonna do. Camera audio. So then we get there and we draw, and I see on the paper we had school drama or silent, and I just uh -huh. had the biggest grin on my face, going, yes, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> yes. Well, dude, I was really, really impressed uh, with your film. Uh, I'm, you. I'm looking at my uh, schedule here to find out when we're gonna show. We're gonna show it actually in ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. Um, okay, so <laughs> I think, aren't we showing it now, Tarun? 23? We're at 1023. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, okay. So, so, okay, so, so introduce, tell us a little bit about the film. Okay, um, how we came up with that, uh, we were trying to figure out where we wanted to shoot, and Marla, uh -huh. father, works at the Railroad Museum in New Braunfels. Right. So I went out one day and just to look at it, and I was like, I want to shoot here. It's just unique and different. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And, um, and then we got silent film, and since I was, was there before, I had it in my head after we got silent, I was like, we, they got miniatures and figurines. Why don't we just make it where if they make a noise, they die and they become a toy. Awesome. It's just simple. Right. <laughs> Kids, you're going to really like this um, film. Tarun, can we go ahead and roll that?
Hi kids, we're back. Um, can you tell us what awards that film won? We were awarded um, Best Set Design, Hair, uh, Makeup, and Wardrobe. Palacios! <laughs> so Set Design, Hair, Makeup, Wardrobe, and Best Acting Ensemble, and we tied for third. Awesome, awesome. First well, ever in the history of Austin 48. <laughs> guys, that was done in 48 hours. That whole thing in Michigan was done in 48 hours. Or 48 hours. So um, I'm telling you, it's a lot of fun. Y'all really should, uh, if you've ever thought about doing a film um, and having a lot of fun and not getting any sleep for 48 hours. Um, yeah. yeah. It's a lot of work. So, uh, okay, so next we're going to bring in um, Sheila Ann. And she was uh, involved in a film called Camp Granada. So um, help me welcome Sheila. How you doing? Come to Camp Granada with the addiction you've always fought. You've got problems, no, I'll solve them when you give me all you've got. <laughs> okay, so Sheila, what did you do in this film? Oh, gosh. Uh, I was one of the producers. Okay. I was one of two. Christopher Lee Herod was our other producer from afar. Uh -huh. He lives in Nashville. Nice. Um, I also was one of the characters, okay. and I was the lyricist, and I played the flute, and mm -hmm. I sang, and I, I guess I narr did a narrative uh, and sang throughout the film. So nice. A few hats. <laughs> nice. And what awards did this film get? We won awards for um, best overall use of music. We won best editing, and I'm trying to. Oh, there's just a few. Oh, my favorite one. It made me cry. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a producer's award for women in film. I yeah. didn't know that was a thing. It was <laughs> nice. very, very touching. And nice. we we tied for a second runner up mm -hmm. for best film. And um, I can't remember the last. Did you get sound design? Oh yeah, best sound design. What am I thinking? Nice. And then we got the uh, audience choice award for our group. Okay. And how long is this film? Uh, Do you remember? I believe it was uh, seven minutes thirty. Yeah. Seven, seven minutes and thirty six seconds. See? Yeah, and thirty six seconds. See how, how I know, know? these <laughs> Well, because <laughs> Tyrone's yelling at me in oh. my ear. Um, it was a long weekend. I, yeah. I had zero sleep and one glass of scotch. And a trip to the ER. <laughs> I like this girl, except for the trip to the ER, because, dude, they know me down at the ER, too. Yeah. They know me at the ER. <laughs> yeah, I have my own wheelchair there. Um, okay, so um, a little bit about you. Where are you from? I was born in Santa Fe, New Mexico, raised nice. in San Antonio, Texas. I went, to my, I went to school for undergrad in University of Houston for music. Nice. Then I went to grad school for music as well, uh, nice. University of New Mexico. Lived in wow. Boston for a couple of years, then moved here three years ago. Nice. So, and and nice. you love Austin, I'm sure. Absolutely awesome. love Austin. Awesome. <laughs> well, I love Austin. Um, so, so you were involved in this film, and how did you get involved? We have about 25 seconds. Can you tell us how you got involved? Yes. Uh, my best friend, Anton Savenko from Savenko Films, is a filmmaker, uh -huh. and he invited me to help his team last year for the Austin 48 Hour Project. Uh -huh. I wrote music for their film. Uh, sadly, the film didn't get turned in on time, so they didn't qualify for any awards. Right, and I right. told myself, one day I'm going to start my own team, and my only goal is to turn it in on time. Nice, and nice. we did it. Nice. Where well, our Lucas did a film, too, and oh. but uh, we're going to show that film eventually. Not today, but eventually. All right, so Tyrone, can you please show the kids Camp Granada? a tale where the ill, the lonely, and the insane made a doctor who'd kill to help them with pain. Dr. Ryan Granada would go to any measure to make sure they were saved. From near and far, he gained lots of patience, but they would soon find his patience would start to run out. Camp Granada with the 
addictions you've always fought. You've got problems, no, I'll solve them when you give me all you've got. Come on, come on to my retreat where you'll make a friend or two. Trust me, it's fine, it's your lifeline. I will take good care of you.
homemaker. <laughs> All right, kids, um, that was called Camp Granada. Awesome, awesome little film. Um, Ta -da! She did the singing and the music, and uh, she was also the lead in that, right? Uh, one of the leads. One of the leads. Yeah. Well, the prettiest there. So, oh. um, okay. So, uh, a couple other things. Uh, last week I mentioned uh, we got a bunch of emails from people wondering because I said there was three. This has nothing to do with 48 hours, but there was three DNAs that we have. One is the same DNA as a tree, if you remember that. Two, the second one is the same DNA as reptiles. Let that sink in. You know that little ball you have in the corner of your eye right here? That used to be a third eye that we used to have, and now we don't have it anymore. So the third, the third um, DNA that we have in us, they have no idea where it's from. So there, there's your answer. Uh, a lot of people wrote in asking what the third DNA was. They have no idea where it's from. So, okay. So the other thing I wanted to mention was, uh, or uh, next we're going to bring in Mr. Trey Hugley, Hugley, and Hugley, and um, he is here to represent uh, a short film called Screen uh, 615 is the name of this short film. So please help me welcome Trey. All right. How are you doing, man? How are you? Pretty good. Good to see you. Listen to that music. Awesome. Um, is that music from your uh, film? It is. It wow. Is, and indeed. who wrote that music? Uh, it was uh, actually uh, from a uh, music provider that we had. We had the liberty to use during the 48 this year. Uh, uh, OC nice. Music. So it was one of our sponsors, one of the sponsors of, of the 48 Hour Film Project. Nice. And so they allowed anyone involved could use one of their songs. Awesome. Awesome. And how did you get involved? I mean, are you a director, or what did you do in the film? Um, in this film, I, I co-produced it along with my wife and mm -hmm. uh, my friend Garrett Hargrove. Um, I also directed it, um, co-wrote it with Garrett, edited it, um, and uh, I think I did something else, but I've forgotten at this point. So much. Is your wife in the audience? Uh, uh, no, she's not. She's, she's not, not here okay. today. Okay, what's her name? Kristen. Hi, Kristen. How you doing? Keep him on the straight and narrow, Kristen. No, she she keeps no us, she keeps us on the straight and narrow on set too. Okay, <laughs> she, awesome. She keeps everything in line. Awesome, awesome. And um, why six fifteen? How did you come up with that title? So six fifteen is something that uh, is integral to the script. Mm -hmm. um, it's a time where something takes place uh, in someone's life uh, with us. So they're struggling with loss. Uh, okay. And and something I think anyone. In, in the world kind of deals with from time to time right, right. and it's uh, it's a real human emotion and um, and sometimes going through it with friends really uh, helps you get through the struggle so that's kind of the point of sure. the film and uh, if, if I told you what 615 was it might spoil um, part of the film itself but right, uh, right. but uh, it, it is a, a time right right well my friend um, Shay uh, Shay Daniels I know you're watching we love you uh, Shay's uh, Dad passed away uh, like a week ago or something like that. That's why I'm going to San Antonio because they're having a memorial with free alcohol. So, Shay, I will be there. Okay, so um, let me see when we're supposed to show. That food. Okay, so we do. We still have about three minutes. All right. So tell me a little bit more about you. Where are you from? So I'm from Houston originally. Nice. Um, nice. I bounced around the country. Lived in New York for a while. Yeah. Um, I went to college uh, in Huntsville, Texas. Not not a prison. But yeah. At uh, <laughs> Sam Houston State. Well, I University. learned a lot in prison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I was a theater major uh, there at the time. Uh, studied directing and acting uh, nice. for, for the theater, um, and then got in. Got always made films as a kid. Uh, just remakes of Home Alone, remakes of Barry Gordy's The Last Dragon, mm -hmm. with my friends running around with a VHS camera that was dongled to like a huge deck. Yeah. Um, so from there, just expanded into high school, started making films in college with theater majors around you everywhere, having actors, you know, um, around. So we made films there. And it, it just, it's grown over the years. So that, that's 20 years ago. I don't want to date myself. But, wow, wow, wow. But from there, um, when I moved back to Austin, reconnected with some friends Whoa. who are filmmakers, mm -hmm. and uh, we we started making shorts. We've uh, done a feature now, and um, we've taken part in the 48-hour film project I think five times. So, wow! 
Um, we're kind of uh, addicted to it. So you're not right in the head, are you? I mean, you know, because it's hard. Do the 48-hour thing. It's hard. So you've done it five times. Yeah. Wow. That's I, dude. That's dedication. I mean, that's you love your art, man, because it's hard, but it's mm -hmm. fun, but it's hard, man. If you're lazy, you don't want to do this. <laughs> I'm telling you, because it's hard. And um, what uh, awards did your film get? Um, we uh, got. Best actor, our, our lead actor Kenneth Wayne Bradley's um, amazing in mm -hmm. it. Um, we got best use of the line of dialogue, nice. um, and uh, best uh, adherence to the genre, which ours was drama. Yeah. Um, best director and best film overall. Nice. So nice. really exciting. It was well, still kind of on cloud nine. <laughs> um, I I remember the film, and um, I didn't remember the name of the actor. What was his name again? Kenneth Wayne Bradley. Quain, Kenneth Wayne Bradley. If you're watching, dude, you're awesome. Um, don't Woo! don't stop, dude. Don't stop because you're awesome. Um, all right, so we're going to show you this little clip in just a second. Um, it's about uh, seven minutes and forty five seconds. So go ahead. You have seven seconds to take a rip, a sip. We're a puff. And Black. I'm not ready for this. You don't have to be. 6.15 is going to come whether you're ready or not. It took so long. Rubbing one out? Seriously? <laughs> it's okay, Rihanna. I don't, I don't want this to turn into some heavy kind of thing. I really appreciate you guys coming with me on this. It means a lot. Look, this is a positive step in the transformation. Uh, no, 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 no. Come on. Don't do that. What? Sit there and try to psychoanalyze me while you're off the clock. Let's just. Save it for when I'm on the couch. Copy that. Ben, you ready to roll? Let's go. Did you remember it? In a shark's burger bag. Man, did she come with a side of fries? Come on. It's her favorite. Yeah, it was her favorite. I can't do this. I can't. Can we can we go home? You said it had to be today. 615. I'm not gonna make you go through this alone. I'll be strong for you. So this is a spot, huh? Beautiful. That's why she loved it out here. You know? It's just so peaceful. She used to say that coming out here was like hitting a reset button. You know, all the worries of the day, you just hit reset, it's all gone. I just, I just miss her so much. She was like a sister to me. She really understood me. I could tell her anything. And she didn't man speak to me like you assholes. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact that she used to always laugh at my jokes. Well, somebody had to. <laughs> I really loved her meatloaf. I loved... I 
love her. Yeah. Yeah. Who the hell are you? <laughs> that was the first damn thing you ever said to me. Remember that? I saw you there beside the road and I pulled over. You look so lost, so angry, so late. So I strolled up to you, real cavalier, and I said something lame like, I'm here to save your day, little lady. <laughs> and who the hell are you? Well, <laughs> oh, that knocked me back. That knocked me back a peg. I gotta tell you, I almost walked off. But you forgave me. You let me regroup. I spent my whole life trying to live up to the love you gave. Trying to live up to that second chance. It's like I tricked you into loving me. I can't go on. Without you, I can't breathe. Without you, I, I can't live without you. Fuck, I can't even pick out a, a belt without you. You are strong. And it's time to move on. So why 6.15? It was the time of day when I first saw her. She really did make a damn good meatloaf. Mm -hmm. I love you guys. Uh, just a quick shout out to my friend Omar. Omar show ran into him today downtown. Uh, it's great to see you. We got a party again. Um, dude, this is obviously what you were meant to do, so don't stop doing it. Um, everyone, thank you so much for joining us. Um, you guys did a great job, and you got to see it uh, before everybody else in Holland does. So I wonder if we have anybody in Holland watching. Is there's anybody in Holland watching? Um, please write us and tell us that you're in Holland. Fantastic. Okay, so we have 10 seconds. Everybody say goodbye. Um, you three, two, one, where are you? Oh, over there. Peace. We'll see you next week. We're trying to get a baby elephant. <laughs> what do you know? The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. Hi,
ho, what do you know? The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. Hi ho, what do you know? The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. The Big Daddy G Show. Here's your daddy.